Page 61. Exercise 8. Perspectives. Who? Page 61. Good evening, Salvador. How are you tonight? Good evening, Salvador. How are you tonight? Good evening, sir. Uh, I'm ready. Ready, ready. Okay, very good. I have good. been yes, uh, a little busy. Yesterday, I couldn't uh, contact contact uh, with, the, with the group because I don't feel good, you know, sometimes uh, okay. after work, a little tired, you know. Difficult, but I understand the game, no problem. Okay, I understand that, no problem. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. now were you able to work on the platform, Salvador? Uh, Did you finish? Uh, the midterm? Already... Yes, okay, very good. Uh, so this that uh. Last time I had problem with the, some answers with the, you know the in the platform because in carnival time uh -huh. I think I my answer was correct but always the the computer tell me negative 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 okay but in the WhatsApp group I, I send the answers remember that uh, yeah, those answers that I send yes, I you have to uh, start with a capital letter and finish with a period, okay. with a punto, right? Otherwise, uh, okay. the program, if you yep. don't do that, the program will take it wrong. So start uh, with a capital okay. letter All right. and finish the sentence with a period, okay? Let okay. me okay. let me show you the okay, uh, what I sent. Okay, can you see on the screen, Salvador? Uh, let me see. Can yes. you see? So these are the answers. Number one is a party. So you begin with a capital I and finish with a period. 
Number two, four days. Okay. Finish with a period. Number three, on late February or early March. And now February with capital F and March with capital M. Okay. And finish right. with a period. Number four, period. it is okay. a dance. Begin with a capital I and finish with nothing. And make sure okay. you use capital letters at the beginning and a period at the end of his answer. Okay, so that is okay. on the group, on the WhatsApp group. Okay? All right, yeah, I have, yes. Okay, uh, so go ahead. One question. Uh, <clears throat> yes. This is one question, for the teacher, carnival uh, time. You remember? The carnival yes. time. Yes, I have. So it's for oh, that. Fine. Okay, so very uh, good. The day, uh, yesterday, uh, what did you see yesterday? What lesson did you check yesterday? Ah, we saw the time contrast. Okay, uh, talking about, we're gonna do an exercise today. Talking about uh, okay. what people did in the past, uh, using simple past and used to. You remember used to? I used to play, I used to, yes. but I don't okay. do it anymore. And simple past, I played uh, cards yesterday and uh, we okay. talk about the present okay present progressive and, pre and simple present to express things that we are doing at the moment or in nowadays okay. and future okay using going to or will okay or will okay will yes. okay it's something uh repass something okay very good lester good evening lester how are you tonight Good evening, I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. We can hardly hear you. I don't know if you can uh, turn up the volume. Uh, okay. Now we can listen uh, to you perfectly. Very good. Okay. That's okay. okay. Uh, I hope more people join. Uh, we are going to start because uh, we need to get ahead. Okay. Now, the first thing that I'm going to start with is with the workbook okay this was the homework that i left yesterday do you remember choose the correct response so number one ask the question salvador okay sir i go uh, when did people travel by horse and carriage so what is the possible answer salvador in the next few years about 100 years ago or these days? Uh, uh, people travel by a horse and carriage about 100 years ago. Exactly, that is correct, very good. Lester, good evening, okay. Nuria. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher, fine, and you? I'm, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. I'm sorry because I couldn't, no pude estar. I, I, couldn't, sabía, I couldn't be. I couldn't be in the last classes. It's okay. No problem. But you are here. That's what counts. Good Thank evening, you. Kenya. How are you tonight? Good evening. Um, I'm fine. I am ready to start in. How are you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. Now, we are on the homework that I left last night. Okay, so number two, Lester, read the question, please. Yeah, uh, number two. When might doctors find a cure for the flu? What is the answer? Nowadays, in the next 50 years or a few years ago? in the next 50 years excellent very good nuria you try ask the question in number three when did the first man go to the moon uh-huh when did the first man go to the moon about oh. 35 years ago excellent very good excellent kenya question number four when is everyone going to have a computer at home so what is the answer? In the past, right now, or soon? 
right now? Well, I don't think everyone is going to have a computer now, but probably okay, soon. Probably soon. That soon. is correct. Sure. Very okay. good. Okay, now guys, we're gonna get to this perspectives. Who wants to make money? Do you want to make money? Of Hello, course. do you want to make money? Yes, I want. Yeah, of course. Nuria, would you like to make money? Yes, I would like to be rich, teacher. Yeah, me too. What about you, Salvador? <laughs> do you want to make money? I wish, you know, but it's very difficult. In this time, <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> okay, Lester, will, uh, do you want to make money? Yeah, I want to be a millionaire. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, let's, let's see this, okay? Now, listen to some possible consequences of getting a high-paying job. Check the statements you agree with. Now, listen carefully, please. Okay, here we go. Exercise eight. Perspectives. Who wants to make money? Part A. Listen to some possible consequences of getting a high-paying job. Check the statements you agree with. If you get a high-paying job, you won't have to work as hard. You'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You'll be able to buy things you want. You might be on TV or in the newspapers. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. You'll be able to buy your parents a new car. Okay, so if you get a high paying job, I don't know if you have any questions. 61. Exercise and perspectives. Who? I don't know if you have any questions about this uh, conse consequences of having a, a high paying job. Do you have any questions? You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. And you'll be able to buy things you want. You might be on TV or in the newspapers. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. And you'll be able to buy your parents a new car. Questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay, now take a look. You see here, this is the condition. Okay? This is the condition. If you if you get a high paying job and you see the condition is in the present, can you see? If you get a high paying job. Now, these are the consequences or all the consequences are in the future. You won't have to work as hard. You will be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more charities. So all the consequences are in the future. So the condition is in the present, but the consequences are, or the results are in the future. future. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah. so take a look here. Conditional sentence with if clauses. Possible situation with the simple present. Now, consequence or result. Future with will, may, or might. So look, if you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. 
if you don't have to work as hard, you see, in the simple present. Consequence, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot of more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. Is that clear? So the if clauses goes with the simple present and the consequences goes in the future using will, using may, or using might. Do you have any questions? No. No questions. Are you sure? Everybody, are you sure? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. now I'm gonna let me see how many of you are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm gonna put you in pairs so you can work on this part. Okay. You have the conditions right here and you have the results. So you have to put their results with the right condition. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay, okay very okay. good. So I will uh, make the groups, okay? So I'm gonna make four groups. Okay, here we go. Okay, Delmi and Salvador go to room number one. Kenya and Nuria go to room number two. Janet and Lester go to room number three. Danny and Vladimir go to room number four, please. Delmi, can you turn on your microphone, Delmi, please? Kenya, can you turn on your microphone, please? Go to room number, Nuria, can you turn on your microphone, please? Salvador, go okay, to room teacher. number one, please. Nuria, go to room number two, please. Salvador, go to room number one, please. Nuria, can you go to room number two, please? But I didn't receive the invitation, teacher. Really, but you are right here. Okay, let me move you. Okay, again. Uh, okay, now, okay. Nuria. Go to room number two. Do you have it now? Okay, very good. Uh, Hello, teacher. Nuria, go to room number two, Nuria. You invite me to room one and I accept the invitation, but I, I didn't know, I don't know what happened. Okay, now go to room number one again. Okay. You Join. got it? Go to room number one. You got the invitation? Okay, very good.
Okay, Lester, Vladimir, Janet, were you able to finish? Yes, finish. Okay, very good. So in a few minutes, in a few, no, in a few seconds, everybody's coming back. Okay, very good. So everybody's coming back now. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh -huh. seven, Salvador, Delmi, okay, very good. Now, let's check real quick, okay? Now, if you eat less sugar, uh, Janet, complete. You might Tell me feel the condition, healthier. wait, uh -huh. if you eat. If you eat less sugar, you might feel healthier. Healthier, okay, very good, next. Uh, next, Vladimir. If you walk to work every day and you you have more money to spend on yourself. No, Salvador. Go ahead, Salvador. Turn on your microphone, Salvador. Uh, you will stay in shape without joining a gym. Uh -huh. If you walk to work every day, you'll stay in shape without joining a group. Okay, very a good. Gym. Nuria, a number gym. three. If you don't get enough sleep, you won't be able to stay awake in class. You won't be able to stay awake in class. Very good. Excellent, Nuria. Okay, Lester, number four. If you own a pet, you may feel more relaxed. You may feel more relaxed. That is excellent. Very good. The next one, eh, let me see. Eh, the next one, uh, Delmi. Uh, if you don't get married, uh, you have more money to spend on yourself. Aha, uh -huh. you have more money to spend mm -hmm. on yourself. That is correct. Yes, Very good. That's true. <laughs> that is true. So true. So true. Okay. okay. Now, let's take a look over here. War power. Can you find two consequences for each possible event? Complete the chart with information from the list. Okay, for example, take a look. Okay, here. Uh, if you buy a large dog, if you buy a large dog, what consequences can you have from here? Feel safer in your home. Okay, you will. Uh -huh. But remember, we're going to try to use future. With will, if it is negative one, might and may, right? Okay. So again, Janet, if. Okay. If. If, if you buy a large doll, uh, you will feel safer in your home uh-huh you will feel safer in your home very good another consequence let's see somebody tell me danny another consequence if you buy a large dog what will be the consequence danny turn on your microphone danny Uh -huh. Salvador, Nuria. If uh, you buy a large dog, you will have to take it, out, take it out for walks. Very good. If you buy a large dog, you will, you will have to take it out for walks. Very good. So we have the two consequences right there. Now, 
What happens if you fall in love, Salvador? What happens if you fall in love? So you're going to tell me. If you fall in love. Yeah. Uh, if I fall in love, the consequence, uh, I, well, let me say something. I have to learn a new language. No. I will, uh -oh. I, 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 what about this one? Yes. Oh, yeah. I will feel jealous sometimes. I will feel yes. jealous sometimes. What is another consequence? Another consequence. Lester, another consequence. what is another consequence? Um, I think... Get Salvador request will get requests for loans from friends. No, if you fall in no. love. We yes, are, if you fall in love. Baba. What is the other consequence? We you get, get requests for loans friends. from friends. No, no, because better loan, about your loans, you remember, prestamos. Okay, okay. So, yeah, this because love, he. Yeah, because you because the man needs more money to invite her friends. No, no. If you fall in love, you're gonna be poor. You will be poor. <laughs> if you fall in love, you will have to give up, give up your favorite snack or favorite. No, uh -uh, no, that doesn't go. If you fall in love. Feel better about yourself. You will you will feel better about yourself. You will if you fall better. in love, you will feel better about yourself. Okay? About yourself. Okay, very good. Now, Kenya, what happens if you go on a diet? If you go on a diet, um, you will you will feel hungry a lot. Okay, you will feel hungry a lot. Now, another one, Beatriz, if you go on a diet. If you go on a diet, you will have to give up your favorite snack. You will have to give up your favorite snack. Very good. Now, let me see. Hey. Uh oh. So. The next one, if you inherit a lot of money, do you know what is inherit? Don't know. No. no. Heredar. Heredar. If you inherit a lot of money, what happens? You will be able to buy expensive clutters. Uh huh. You will be able to buy expensive clothes or jewelry. What no. is another consequence if you inherit a lot of money from this one? We'll get requests for loans from friends. Okay, but complete. Make it complete. If you... If you inherit, inherit a lot of money, you will get requests for loans from friends. For loans for friends. You will get requests for loans for friend, from friends. Now, what happens or what will be different if you move to a foreign country? Let's see. If you move to a foreign country, you might have to learn a new language. You might have to learn a new language. Very good. What happens if you move if to you, a foreign language? If you move to a foreign country, you will lose to you touch with all friends. You will lose touch with all friends. Very good. You see? Is that clear then? Now, let me yes. explain you, okay? Just like I explained before. Now, you remember that uh, that earlier today, earlier tonight, I sent a document, this document. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. So I want everybody to take a look at the document right here. I have it right here. So 
Look, first conditional. First conditional is for real possibility. The condition can happen. And because the condition can happen, the result also could happen. So take a look. If I win the lottery, I will buy a car. And look, if it goes with the simple present and the result goes in the future using will in this case. Yes, so we are talking about the future. We are thinking about a particular condition or situation in the future and the result of this condition. There is a real possibility that this condition will happen. For example, it is morning, you are at home, you plan to play tennis this afternoon, but there are some clouds in the sky. Imagine that it rains, what will you do? So if the condition in the present simple and the result, the result goes with will or with be going to, I will explain that later. So if it rains, I will stay at home. Is that clear? So the condition, the if, clause in the simple present and the result in the future. Okay. Yes, Notice that we are thinking about a future condition. It is not raining yet, but the sky is cloudy and you think that it could rain. We use the present simple tense to talk about the possible future condition. We will use will plus bay form to talk about the possible future result of this future condition. The important thing about the first conditional is that there is a real possibility that the condition will happen. It'll happen. Here are some more examples. Do you remember the two basic structure? If the condition and the result and result of the condition. So we have if plus the condition that has to be in the present simple and the result simple. that it has to be with will in the future. So if I see Mary, I will tell her, if Tara is free tomorrow, he will invite her. If they do not pass their exam, their teacher will be sad. If it rains tomorrow, will you stay at home? If it rains tomorrow, what will you do? And notice, I want you to notice this. Here we have the if, the condition at the beginning of the sentence and the result after the condition, but it can happen the opposite, we can have the result at the beginning. I will tell Mary and then the condition if I see her. So that is possible. But notice when I have the condition at the beginning, a comma is necessary to separate the clauses. Can you see okay. here? Can yes. you see? Because the condition is at the beginning, a comma is necessary. Now, when the result is at the beginning, no comma is necessary to separate the results, the, the, the clauses. Is that clear? Yes. Now, another thing, the condition can be affirmative, can be negative, or it could be a question. And the result can also be affirmative, negative or question and they can be in any combination affirmative 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 negative affirmative question negative affirmative negative 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 question question affirmative question negative or question question for example here you can see affirmative with affirmative. Here, negative 
with affirmative. And here we have a affirmative with question, okay? So all those combinations are possible. Questions, okay. guys? No, in this moment, no. Okay, now mini quiz. I hear sometimes we can use in the future, we can use shall or we can use K, can or may instead of will. For example, if it is sunny this afternoon, we can play tennis. But that is expressing future. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, mini quiz. The first conditional is used if there is no possibility, little real possibility or a real possibility. A real, a real possibility. possibility. A real possibility. That's why it says right here, right? For real possibility. First conditional for real possibility. Very good. Now, number two. If we, what are we going to use? Where, are, or had been? Are. Yeah, well, because in the are, if we are. need present. If we are. That is are. Uh, if we are free, we'll go with you. Now, number two, uh, we'll win, we'll win if we play, playing or have played? Play. play. Play, because we need in if, in the if clause, we need present. If we present, play, okay. we will win. Okay, now, model verbs in first condition are normally will is used in the main clause of first conditional sentence. However, you can also use the model verbs may, might, and could when something is a possible consequence and not a certain one. Do you understand? You remember when you saw the future with me? We yeah. say that we use will for prediction. We, we use will when we want to talk about 70 to 90% probability for the events no. to happen. Do you remember? Yes, of course. Now, when we use going to, we can also use be going to, that is because we want to express that that result is going to be 90 to 90%, to 99%. that they happen, okay? So very probable. So if we want to express that our result will be very probable, it's better to use be going to. If it is a prediction or certain, 70 to 90% probable will. But if we want to express that it's gonna be 50 to 70% probable, it's better to use may, might, or could. Is that clear? Like yeah. they did right here. Yeah. For example, here, they say, if you eat less sugar, you might feel healthier. So the probabilities are 50 to 70%. If you walk to work every day, you stay in shape without joining a gym. So the, the event is probable to happen 70 to 90%. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, yeah. very good. Now, let's go back to the document right here because we have some exercises that I want you to use, okay? Let me erase this, okay? Okay, now we're gonna start with number 11, okay? So what do we use? Okay, remember in the if clause, we need present and in the future, in this case, we are going to use will, okay? So what is number one? Here is the verb that you are going to use in parentheses, okay? In the if clause and in the result clause. So how should we do the first one? If we 
If we send an invitation. If we send, if we send an invitation. invitation people present, right? If we send an yes. invitation. Our friends. Our friends. Will, will come to our party. Very good. Will come okay. to our party. Our party. Okay. okay, now we are going to do this exercise. Uh, everybody. Carlos Marroquín, number two. Number 12. Okay, wait. I wonder who is making all that noise. Okay, now, very good. So, Carlos, number two. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so tell me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. We don't see anything. Yeah, I know that you're not watching. You're not watching. If we, if we won't understand. He? He will. He won't understand. Won't understand. Understand you if you. If you. Whisper. If you whisper, you understand what is the meaning of whisper? No. Susurrar. Susurrar. That is correct. No. If, you, uh, if you whisper. Okay, let me see how. I, uh. Okay, very good. If you whisper. Okay, Janet, number number three. 13. Number 13, yeah, number 13. Date. They, they want by. They won't survive in the desert if they won't take extra water with them. If they don't, don't want, don't, don't take, take uh -huh. extra water with them. Extra water with them. That is correct. Very good. They won't survive if they don't take extra water with them. Very good. Okay, if they don't take it. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Why is why is don't and not want? Ah, because in the if clause we say in the if clause we need to use. Okay, you see here in the if clause we need simple present. You. In the result, we need will plus base form. If I see Mary, I will tell her. Like this one, if they do not pass their exam, can you see it? Yes. If yes. they do not pass their exam, because in the condition, we need simple present. In the result, we need future. Is that clear? Yes. yes? Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Now, the next one. Who is going to do the next one, please? Okay, let me see. Uh, Lester, what about you, Lester? Uh, okay. Yes, Same. it's number 14. Okay. Uh, if you press... Control plus S. You will save the file. Uh -huh. If you press, if you press Control, control S, plus S, you will save the file. Very good, excellent, very good work. Okay, the next one. Let me see. Kenya, number fifteen. Uh, you will cross the channel if you will fly from Paris to London. 
You will cross the channel if you fly. If you fly. Uh -huh. from, Paris from London to, to Paris. Very good. Excellent. Beatriz, number 16. Fred will answer the phone. Wait. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. wait. Okay, go ahead, Beatriz. Sorry. Fred? Fred will answer the phone. Answer. If answer. Answer. That is correct. Don't pronounce the W. Answer. If his wife. If his wife. Uh, has. How. Has. Okay. How bad. Yeah, but here is his wife. Is she. And remember, in the simple present, we use. Has. Has okay, very good. If his wife has a bad, okay, very good. The next one, let me see. Okay, who is gonna be the next one? Uh, Mariela Sanchez. If Claire, if Claire, we Wears, aha, uh -huh, very good. Wears. Wears. If Claire wears this dress at the party or or guests will uh -huh. not one won't stay long. Okay. When won't stay long, okay. So maybe is a dress that is showing too much. So the guests won't stay long. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, next, uh, who is next? Let me see, Vladimir. Number number 18. 18, if I touch the, the snake, my girlfriend won't scream. Okay, my girlfriend won't scream. Okay, very good. So you got it pretty good. Okay, very good. My girlfriend. Teacher, what yes? does it mean? What does it mean, scream? Gritar. Okay. So if I touch Thank this you. snake, my girlfriend won't scream. Si yo toco esta culebra, mi novia no gritará. Okay, number 19. Eh, Danny. Turn on your microphone, Danny. Danny, Danny, tell me, are you there, tell me? Okay, yes, Danny. Teacher, ahead, Danny. But uh, I have a problem with my inter. Okay, no problem, Danny, let's try. She? She fought. Um... She will forget. She forget to be. Aha, uh -huh, but this is the result, Danny. This she is the result, will. so it has to be in she the future. She will. Aha, uh -huh, she will forget. Forget. Forget to, to pick, pick up. Aha, uh -huh, to pick up. Pick you. To pick you up. To pick you. If you want. We. No, no. If you don't. Wow. Okay, yeah. let him do it. Let him do it. If you don't let, okay. him, let him do it. Let Danny do it. If you <laughs> I know that everybody wants to do it, but okay, let him think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need here simple present. What is the negative for don't? Uh-huh. So if that is. If you or don't, doesn't. If ah, you okay, don't. Phone her. Okay, why? Because for you is done. And the verb mm -hmm. phone, if you don't phone her. Is that clear? Yes. 
Okay, very good, very good. If you don't phone her. Okay, Delmi, what about you, Delmi, number 20? Uh, I will remember you if you give me a photo. I will remember you if you give me a photo. Give. Give me a photo, okay? As easy as that. So very good. You got it very good. Excellent. Okay? Now, we are going to go to the workbook now, okay? Here. Here. What if I get in shape this summer? What is the correct answer? Choose the correct response. What if I get in shape this summer? Can you see it? No. No? Okay, no. I'll share with you. No. Okay, can you see it now? This is page, page 52 on the workbook. Okay? Okay. Choose the correct response. What if I get in shape this summer? What is the correct response? You might be able to come rock climbing with me or you won't be able to come rock climbing with me. You might be able to come rock climbing with me. Rock climbing, okay? Very good. Um, now, number two. Let me see who is next here. Somebody that hasn't tried. Marielos, number two. Turn on your mic. <laughs> what will happen if I stop exercise? Exercising. Exercising. Uh -huh. Well, you won't gain weight. Uh -huh. You might, no. Well, you might gain weight. You might gain weight. What happened if I stop exercising? Well, you might gain weight. Okay, very good. The next one, Kenya. Number three. What if I get a better job? What if I get a better uh, job? Give me a moment. You'll be able to buy some new clothes. You will be able to buy some new clothes. Salvador. Number yes, four. Yes, sir. Number four, what will happen if, if I don't get a summer job? Uh, be, you may be able to find a roommate when the school starts. Uh -huh. If you don't get a summer job, you might, you probably have to find a roommate when a school, yeah, you may be able to find a roommate when a school starts. Okay, repeat after me, everybody. What if I get in shape this summer? What if, what what if, if I, I get, in, what if I get in shape this summer? Okay, Carlos, uh, turn on your microphone. Nuria, turn on your microphone. Vladimir, turn on your microphone. Nuria, Nuria, okay. Everybody, what if I get in shape this summer? What, what if, if I get, get in shape this summer? This summer? You might be able to come rock climbing with me. You, you might, might be able to, able to climb be able to climbing. climbing with me. What will happen if I stop exercising? What, what will happen, happen if, if I, I stop exercising? Well, you might gain weight. Well, well you might gain, gain weight. weight. What if I get a better job? What, what if, if I, I get, get a better, better, job? better job? You'll be able to buy some new clothes. You'll be able, You'll be able to, to buy some, some new clothes. clothes. What will happen if I don't get a summer job? What, what will happen if I don't get, 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 get a job? You probably have to find a roommate when school starts. You probably have to find a roommate when school starts. Okay, very good. So we are going to stop right here. But before we stop, I want to remind you guys, 
Here, let me get you to the platform, okay? This is section number four. I hope everybody has finished section number three and has done the midterm, okay? That is section number three. And you have done the midterm. Now, in section number four, you can do, because we saw time contrast last night, you can do knowledge check 4.4. You can also do for better or for worse, the listening. We did it yesterday. So you can do this exercise. And and now that we saw conditional sentences with if clauses, you can do knowledge check 4.11. And if you have any questions, we can clear those questions tomorrow night, okay? So tomorrow we're gonna do this and we are going to advance on Thursday on section five. So next week, we are going to be working on section five. Is that clear? Clear. So please go ahead, go ahead, and don't fall behind with the homework, okay, on the sections. Because remember that we have to do the final next week, okay? okay. Do you have any questions, guys? No, teacher. I don't no. Know. no questions. Okay, thank you very much okay. for your time, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have Thank a you wonderful too, night. Sir. Good night. And good night. rest and sleep well, please. And I see you uh -huh. tonight. Thanks. Don't Thank miss you. tomorrow Thank night's you, class. Sir. Okay. Well done for you. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Bye. If you Thank forget you, tomorrow's Bye. class, you won't be able to do the final. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See you. Thank you. Have a nice night. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Good night.